Hi guys, Paul here with Cisco Vault. Um, today, I want to talk about Luma. I just got this yesterday and set it up. I'm not going to do an unboxing video because I personally find those pretty annoying. But um, this is how it looks. Uh, the box is fairly simple. Um, it's a pretty well designed box. Um, Nothing extraordinary, but anyways, um, let's focus on the actual product. Um, this is it right here. I got the three pack because I have a two story house and I did have death spots. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to eliminate. And so on the back, you'll see there's a, you know, typical in out ethernet ports, um, and USB cable. Um, haven't tested that yet. I'm not sure what that does do yet, but um, check back and I will definitely have updates on this. Um, but as far as the size goes, they're they're actually smaller than I expected. This is, you know, what it looks like. And so I have two more um, around my house. But other than that, I mean, it works well. It's pretty fairly easy to set up. Um, one thing that I noticed, though, and I'm not really happy, is that you have to have your phone to set this thing up. Otherwise, you, you're going to be out of luck. You have to have a phone or a tablet or something that you can download their app. You can't just uh, set it up um, as you would normally with a, you know, standard Linksys or Asus router where you can just plug it in and open up a web interface and set it up. Uh, it doesn't give you that many options. Um, let's talk about the interface. This is what the interface is going to look like once everything is set up um, under the Wi-Fi um, tab. If you look on the bottom left, you click on that. This is what it's going to show you. It's going to show you the SSID up top and if it's online, how many devices are online and kind of the average um, download and upload speeds. Um, it's actually a little, a little faster than that. Um, and as a matter of fact, we can go ahead and scan it right now as I speak, just to kind of test it. I'm sitting maybe five feet away from the, the primary AP, which connects itself to the modem. So let's give it a try and see where it takes us. That's one thing I noticed is that when I try to run a speed test, this portion of it takes like five to ten seconds but this is uh, once it starts it's pretty fast as you can see um, this is on wireless and it's it's maxing out um, I have about 150 megs per second and it's about 12 megs per second upload speed so it's it's pretty much taking it to the maximum what my ISP allows me um, so that's pretty impressive um, moving on, um, there's a security tab. Under security tab, this will show you how many devices are scanned and if, if there's any concerns. Um, so it looks like it blocked some weird sites that I have no idea about. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool and fairly simple, um, intuitive, and up to the point. Um, and then under the control tab, you'll, you'll have a couple options here. Um, you can pause the internet. Um, you can add a Luma, or you can invite to Wi-Fi. The invite to Wi-Fi feature is actually really cool because you can you get to invite someone using message, mail, Twitter, Facebook, and um, they'll be able to accept it and join your Wi-Fi network without you having to expose your SSID credentials. Um, Another tab, if you click on people, this is where you can also add people. These are the devices that are on your network. And then this is the security settings, the policy settings for, you know, restricting what you from accessing different types of websites. Um, right now I have it as unrestricted, but you can set it to restricted, allow content level. Not really sure what it filters out at this point or not. Um, PG-13 um, and the rest I would have to test it out um, 
I will be creating a more detailed video on every feature and what it does, but right now I just wanted to kind of overview so you get a picture of what it'll look like when you get your Luma if you're planning to get one. Um, that's it about the interface. There's really, really, like I said, there's not that much. Um, as a techie, it's, it's too simple for me. I like to have a little bit of more configuration options. Um, one thing I notice is that it only assigns IP addresses and 192.168 addresses, so if you like different subnets, good luck with that. It's not going to give you that option right now. Maybe it will come with future updates, and I hope it does. Um, I, I want to have more flexibility as what to my subnets can be or can't be. I want to have that control, not an option with this Wi-Fi system. And for, you know, $400, I hope they include it in the future uh, software releases. Um, that's about it. Um, if, there, if you guys have any more questions on the user interface, please comment and I will try to respond as promptly as possible. I just wanted to mention I will be creating a how-to video um, and I will have detailed steps um, how to set it up. Um, so yeah, please subscribe, follow, and there will be an update shortly.